what's up guys how is it going over there i'm babs okay i have come to introduce to you fiber iq a buyer's faq on fiber this is for you who are newbies who are just getting into the world into the marketplace and you want to sell or you want to buy there's a little, little, little things you need to know and this as a buyer what you are buying as an IRA, you want to uh, you want to pay your is it that you you want to know if your word if your seller is in line you want to know what to do and what to do so that you don't get your account restricted you want to know if your your information is safe your account and so many other things what will not get you restricted what will not get your work account suspended and how you can start with fiber so if you are seeing a green or green cycle next to each fiber customer so then let you know if buyer or seller you are working with is online. Now if the word if the green or green light is off then you should know that this was this and or are not online. Your licenses can be seen from various pages including on the customer profile in the conversion and on the what on the seller's word on the seller's case page. This is how you work you get to know. How do I change my notification? It's quite simple to change your notification. You go to your work, go to your fiber fiber accounts also go to your fiber account you already click on home click home also click on home go to settings notification push notification so these are the words at the push notification notifications order of this if you're not checking this you won't be able to see your order is what completed or you still on other messages so there are other messages and there are inbox message inbox messages is when you are what when you are when you first meet the seller and you are trying to introduce to you what service you need to get him for why the other message is the other message is that you are creating space or what or a message based on the order you have requested is a different thing entirely now you are talking about the order you have already processed how you want to know how it's going you want to know how it's being pushed and what how fast you are what how far the seller is going with the work so you use the other messages so the buyer request like once you make the request and you click notification for your account so how do, how do you send you test it so that's how you get to know that the word is working and that's how you can set your words and set the whole thing successfully so policy and safety that you would like to know if your policy and safety are you as a buyer you should not work number one with your credentials out fiber will never ask you to give out your word password occasionally we may ask for a few things from you but we will never ask for your password or sign in credentials you, you know, you to uh, to email us your password to log in to a site outside of the world fiber let's come also download and install an application if you receive any request or message please never download or run such application or email attachment you should best report the work before the activities is my personal information so yes your personal information is received as well fiber take it to act and take it to serious do i pay my seller directly Yes, you should pay your seller directly. Do not try in any circumstances, in any form, pay your work, your seller outside the world, outside the Fiverr platform, because it can cost you a problem. And Fiverr will not be responsible to assist you if you pay your work, your seller outside of the world, outside of the world platform or the marketplace. In case you want to pay it online, there is no way that you can process a refund from the world, from the seller. Because it should be in case you did the work hourfully and you want a refund back. There's no way you can work, you can ask because there's no intermediary between you two. Fiverr is standard and intermediary between you, the buyer, and the seller. So if the seller did a very rough work, a very bad order you don't like, and you think he can't just do it, and you just have to give it to another person, if you make the payment online, there's no way you're going to get your money back. And it can cause your accounts to be restricted because they do work, they don't even like it, as a matter of fact. Payment and others. How do I buy gig by using the app? Now, in my previous video, if you check on my channel, I introduced you how you can work, how you can get gigs, how you can purchase gig. All you just need to do is to work, get a good seller, 
people can get you a good kick on that one, on that account. Now, how do I use my promo code? The promo code can be used if you have received a promotional code by your email. Easily apply during the checkout process. So you apply the code while you are checking out. After you have purchased from the buyer, what you want to do is either you, if you want your website to be designed or you want a logo to be designed. So once you are trying to work, once you are trying to check out out of the world, out of the boom, you will, you enter your promo code and apply it to place your order. So there will be a discount for your work, for your purchase, and you'll be able to pay off. Now, if you're talking about the tips, it's good to see when they say the work, a seller deserves a tip if the work is so good. So the minimum amount of tips is $5. For order below 25 the tips can be up to 25 For order above 25 it can be up to 100% of the price of the order. So it depends on how, how you can tip. Why does Fiverr charge tipping fee? Since tipping to it another transaction, the tips is related to Fiverr services fee on work. As Fiverr does not differentiate between tips and regular order, why was my payment declined? Your payment is declined due to your pay, due to some things. Maybe your card issuer is bad or payment option. Now, the best way you can work, you can give me this one. is so to make a payment through paper using Bata account. Using Bata app, I will. You can check my channel for for uh, for Bata. How you can work how you can be how you can withdraw I can withdraw I can withdraw your PayPal account to your what to your bank account it works was worldwide and you can as well use the same butter to flu with to make your payment to make your order on what on fiber it's the most easiest way to go to go about it. Can I withdraw money for Fiverr? Yes. As a as a as a buyer, you cannot withdraw money for Fiverr. As a buyer, if you make the purchase and receive a it will appear in your Fiverr balance to use as an another one and that purchase. So you cannot get that on on that card. Where is my order? Payment do not always create an online. This is the result of the work of the pre screening transaction. The payment process of bank comes before the funds are work are released to work and released to Fiverr. Also possible, there may be certain car issues with the payment processor in sending those funds to Fiverr and work and other things. So your payment transaction from your purchase paper are uh, usually on the main stream for me. As that, so the uh, so the best way you can do it is to use butter. I recommend butter. Use butter for for your purchase order. I will be uploading my next video. I will be introducing to you how you can make order using your word. Using your Bata account is very very straightforward. Now, how do you cancel your order? You're solving issue with orders as well. We're going to work things out with your and to set to any conflict using the work using the solution center for more information. So, does my refund decrease the service fee? Yes. Fiverr will refund the entire amount of the purchase to your Fiverr balance since the work has been done. But mind you, if you do not follow the right protocol, my pain two was two fiber I all, and you went and paid the, the buyer I mean the seller two other means there is no way fiber uh, will be able to work responsible or help you to get your refund back as I have said earlier on do I owe what do I own what is delivered to me unless clearly stated otherwise in this discussion test when the work is delivered the buyer is granted all the intellectual property by including but not limited to copyright or deliver from the work from the seller. The seller with any and all moral rights bearing or transfer and assignment of intellectual property to buyer is what is related to full payment of gig. So how do I download my attachment? Now you can download your attachment on your browser. It will be very difficult for you to download it on your on your uh, what is it called? On on your On, your, on, on the Fiverr app, you have to use the word cool to what to download out your word, your attachment. So that the attachment comes in afterwards, after your work has been was successfully completed by the by the seller. So generally, I'm saying, you know, what are my stones? This feature allows sellers to split staff into bite size, chunk for it, 
you can be very 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 flexible with, with the payment you can make payments the stock rental you can make payments halfway then at the end of the work job it can be reduced so why is there what am i coming to deliver when a seller deliver your order you will see a watermark on image within after you have accepted your work to deliver so there will be a watermark on what on the delivery since your work has not worked as long as you have not approved it okay you're not just satisfied so it will be watermark in order to protect the word the seller's work so as not to go not so as not to go get outside the world outside the work whatever's um Privacy freedom of work. So the, it will be watermark to be able to be protected. So until what you approve it, then you get you've accepted the fact that okay, you accepted it and you cannot download the images, then the work has been what has been delivered successfully. What the seller has activated the set ability location. If you find someone who you would love working with but see that they are work currently unavailable, you can drop them their work, a message and when they come back, they will be able to work, or they will be able to get the, the the contact. I mean, they will be able to message you back and reply. So Fiverr contact is customer. Yes, there is editorial video, editorial piece, Fiverr 365, Fiverr care, Fiverr custom, voice, Fiverr social, Fiverr update, Fiverr map comms, OCR 333, internal comms, was and customer service so this uh is about what about fiverr when it comes to what buyer side so i would like to take you on the next video which i will be recommending to you on how you can work how you can turn on your work your status it's very easy so if you like my video please kindly click on the subscribe button and type comment below i will try my possible best to go to answer every of your comments and if there's anything you would like me to help you with that you like to help me that you like me to help you to explain more better to for you to get more insight about what about the buyers faqs about the buyer about the buyers FAQs, please kindly work, kindly resort it to my comment and I will be able to give you full details of whatever you need and if you are. Thank you.